I smart. Mm. Hit it. <laughs> the hell was that? I don't know. <laughs> this this is gonna be an interesting session today. I uh, I think so. Oh god! All right, here we go. Burgers. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations Two. My name's Skinny Mini. And I'm Pharaoh. What the <laughs> freaking hell happened to my voice there? <laughs> Uh, so, as you continue, I'm going to take a drink of water. <laughs> Pharaoh went through puberty in the span of five seconds. <clears throat> what uh, the hell happened? Oh uh, my god, that was uh, hilarious. I am a man. <laughs> mm. Oh god, that was funny. <clears throat> Woo! Alright, um, the last episode... <laughs> oh god, in the last episode, um... We, uh, uh, God. Oh, Lang, Agent Lang was trying to connect uh, John and Courtney to uh, President Huang's murder. Um, and we found out that John actually um, pushed or caused, he supposedly caused the Mozilla head to fall. So he thinks <coughs> it's his fault. And so. Lang is like, oh no, no, this is this has something to do with 12 years ago. And we're like, what happened 12 years ago? Stuff keeps being brought up. And it's annoying. So we're like, let's freaking go back to 12 years ago. And so Edgeworth is like, is there any evidence that connects this case with what happened 12 years ago? And so as I look through the, the evidence before we record it, thank God. And it, I, it believe, I believe it's a letter from Unknown, the whole thing with K. Because... At the end, it says, please get revenge for 12 years ago. And that's that's pretty obvious to me, so I want to present this here. Take that. Take that! This letter was sent to Jill Crane, who was murdered two days ago. Oh my gosh, it was two days ago. Although the sender is currently unknown, here is written as follows. <clears throat> please get revenge for 12 years ago. Oh, that's me. What? <coughs> <Do I> <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> what? Twelve years ago? That's not all. Take a look at this as well. Is it a photograph? Dang this it. Is a report <laughs> this is a report written by Patricia Rowland to Blaze the Best regarding Nightly. Please read this part here. That thing he laid to rest near the flower bed twelve years ago. Agent Lang, something big is happening here. And let's not make a joke right now. <laughs> Jill's Crane mur Jill Crane's murder two days ago, and now the president's murder today. There has there has to be some connection there. And the key to solving it lies in what happened 12 years ago, does it not? You're asking me to reopen the old wounds of the Lang clan? Yes. Agent Lang. I beg of you. How can I make you understand? <sighs> Who was that just now? Chifu! You guys! What are you all doing here? Aww, it's his crew. We followed you here, Shifu! We heard the Shifu was investigating the incident from 12 years ago. You idiots! I'm not your boss anymore! Get back to your own posts! Sir... We can't afford- uh, we can't do that! What'd you say? Are you disobeying my order? Shifu! We also beg of you! Reinvestigate the SS5 incident from 12 years ago! Wait! SS5? Good lord. None of us could ever forget that case! We know how you- f We know you feel the same way, Shifu! Agent Lang, even your form of subordinates desire to reinvestigate the case. And you think you can solve the mysteries of that case? Yes. Perhaps I can. With your help. Ugh. I got it. I accept your invitation. Shifu! Oh, Shifu! 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 Why did you the court mumbling? I don't know. It's like, hurry up! Sound effects! Here! 
Now then, with that decided, I guess it's my turn to shine. Okay. We're investigating a case from the past, right? And guess what the best tool for that is? The little Mr. Thief. Right! If we have the case files from the past case, I can recreate it. Unfortunately, I don't have the case files. Huh? What do you mean? Access to those case files is restricted. It's being treated as highly classified information. Why is that? I don't know, but it seems like there was a lot of things that they wanted to keep hidden. Even what I know. It's limited to what was published in newspapers back then. That will not be a problem. In any case, please tell us what you know. Sure. Oh, I thought it would be continued for a second. <laughs> I was, I'm surprised it wasn't. <clears throat> Here's some exposition, I guess. The SS5 incident. The incident occurred on a winter day 12, day 12 years ago. It was the 10th of February. That freaked me out because it's the 10th of October right now, so I just... Oh my god, it is! Oh, that's creepy. That's eight months ago. Yeah. <clears throat> the police department in this country received a call from a group of kidnappers. We've got President Huang. They said... Kidnapped? The SS5 incident was a case of President Wang's kidnapping. They demand a ransom of a hundred million dollars. Oh my gosh. A hundred million? Chelsea Clinton? <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> Will you get Chelsea Clinton? I wonder if you guys get that reference. Oh my god. Oh. <clears throat> Boy, did you uh, say oh. it's a okay. game? Oh. Uh, a hundred million? Wait, just how much is that? It's such a large amount, she's having trouble visualizing it. <clears throat> that, that, that night, my old man was the last person to meet with the president. Uh -oh. They were together at the Zangfa Embassy until midnight on February 10th. After that, no one knows what the president was doing up until he was kidnapped. With the president's life at stake, the Zangfa government frantically ga gathered the money. After that, the ransom was delivered and the president was returned safe and sound. So... President Huang <clears throat> has been the president since 12 years ago? That's really amazing. Well, being in office for so long is just a small part of how amazing the man is. Lang seemed a bit happy when he said that. And what happened to the kidnappers? Well, a top secret covert investigation was carried out, and a secret trial was held. A trial? Does that mean the suspect was caught? The suspect was... Patricia Rowland. Oh my god. Hmm? That... The reason you came to the prison a few, da few days ago. Yeah. I was put on extended leave from Interpol. So I decided to go back and reinvestigate what happened 12 years ago. First, I had to get a look at the face of my target. So, the trial 12 years ago ended with a not guilty verdict. Yeah. Back then, my old man was in charge of every aspect of the president's security. He took responsibility for the kidnapping and was relieved of his post as bodyguard. But he continued to investigate as a regular police officer. Until... He finally found the culprit. Let me guess, Blaze the best? And it was not other than Patricia Rowland. Oh. There was no way she could Sorry. she could be innocent. No, you're fine. I'm like, there was there's another person. There was no way she could be innocent. However, the result was a not guilty verdict. In the end, the case went unsolved. Crushed in both body and soul. The old man resigned from the police. What was the basis of arresting Patricia Rowland? There was a lot of evidence. At least, that's what I think. But, uh, I can't see those documents for myself. So that's where my story ends. What should we do? With only this much information, even the little thief would have a hard time producing a recreation. Ugh. Is there really nothing we can do?
Uh, oh, that's probably Fra- that's probably von Karma. No, go ahead. Uh, looks like you could use some help. Who's that? Ah uh, ha ha! I knew uh, it. Ah, good job. Yeah. Francisca. And Mr. Shields too. We finished up the trial. Finally managed to catch up with you guys. Here, take this. Ooh, a folder. <laughs> this is. Ah, oh, it's the case files from the SS5 incident, sir. Oh! How the hell did he know? Did I mean? Like, maybe. I must have said on the on the binder or something, but it's like, how did he see it before Edgeworth? Right? I'm just I'm just nitpicking regardless. <clears throat> When Roland mentioned 12 years ago during the trial, it caught my interest. I looked into it immediately and got in touch with Interpol. I expect no less from you, Francisca. <laughs> Don't get the wrong idea, Miles Edgeworth. I didn't prepare these documents for you, the former prosecutor. I did it for the sake of the investigator taking up the case. You okay? Sorry, I had a stroke there for a second. Oh, um, <laughs> I did it for the sake of the investi- of the investigator taking up the case his father left behind. Sis! Oh! Uh, sis? The hell? <laughs> yeah, he calls her sis for some reason. I, I must have just totally missed that earlier in the game. Hmm. But, I thought information on the SS5 incident was restricted to the public. That the restriction was placed by the prosecutor in charge of the case. Blaze the best. There he is. I'm like, he, okay, there he is. Uh, Blaze the best was a prosecutor in charge. Him. However, as a result of the trial just now, Blaze's authority has been revoked. It's all thanks to his son. So is that is that uh, Sebastian's new theme song? I... maybe? Have we not heard this before? I think so we heard it when he was like standing up to his dad. I think I heard it. Why does it remind me of Luke Atme's theme? Yeah, it, it does a little bit. And that worries me now. <laughs> I was, I'm hoping, now that I bring it up, I'm just really hoping that the second season of the anime is good. Oh my god, I cannot wait. I want to see it. Sebastian! By breaking down his father, the door to his past case has been opened. Prosecutor De Best is currently wrapping up things up in Patricia Rowland's trial. He told me to relay this message to you. Leave Pops and his cohort to me. You guys just take care of the case on your end. <laughs> He's become quite reliable right before our very eyes. Truly. Alrighty then! This is perfect! Now that we have the files, just leave the recreation to me! Indeed. Well then, let us begin. According to these documents, it appears that the incident took place right in front of the Tower Plaza. Then let's head to the plaza right away! No, wait, damn it! No, don't leave! Ah, oh, fudge. We missed something? That Easter egg. I guess, I, I thought we, we would come back to investigate the lot, but I guess we missed our chance, unfortunately. Doggone it, that's the second one! Why? Oh well, that's okay. No, that's alright. I'll probably, once, once the game's over, I'll go back and look at it. Okay. Outside Tower, go Plaza! Oh. <laughs> okay, would you please activate the, Mr. the little Mr. Thief? Right! With these case files, recreating everything should be a snap! Where should I start? Well, indeed. According to these documents, it seems there was a witness to the kidnapping of the president. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, that just really caught me off guard. <laughs> I think it's the glasses, it's like... Yeah, it just make his eyes look all beady. <laughs> Wait, hold on, can we look at the files? Let me see. Uh, oh yeah, let's take a look. 
Okay, uh, so uh, first name is Kinnan. Oh, okay. Oh, that's it? Oh. Wait. Oh, I can't. Day, day long lane. This is his father. Day long lane. That's cool. Okay, anyway. Okay. <clears throat> a freelance journalist by the name of Jack Cameron. However, he happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. He was murdered by the culprit. Oh. So that would mean the place he saw the president was at. The president at was here. Here? At the Grand Tower? No. The Grand Tower was only built around a year ago, okay? Before that, this place contained mostly old abandoned buildings. However, 12 years ago, this place was. Ha! <laughs> Now your file is talking about some stuff I, that I know. Hmm? Yeah. Twelve years ago, at this very spot was... The Happy Family Home. The heck? What's that, pal? It was a place where children who had lost their parents could live. So, orphans? Okay. Okay, there you go. But to put it simply, it was an orphanage. So the president was kidnapped of the orphanage. And the head of that facility at the time was Patricia Rowland. My god, she's everywhere! <laughs> Apparently, Rowland always referred to it as her home. Hmm. It seems that suspicion would naturally fall upon her. Patricia Rowland lays the best of President Wang. The darkness that remains from the SS5 incident still casts a shadow on the present case. Okay, I'd like to input the investigation data from Jack Cameron's murder case. We can probably assume that he was killed by one of the kidnappers. So if we solve the murder case, we'll know who the kidnappers were, right? Precisely. I'm counting on you. Beep boop beep. Oh wait, no. Oh no, he did. <laughs> what the heck is this? Everything's green! I've come to expect such reactions. This is a recreation of the grounds of the facility that stood here 12 years ago. Based on the documents from the police investigation. I recreated the scenes to show what it looked like when the police arrived at 7 a.m. the next day. It appears a fair amount of snow had piled up here. Yeah, I heard that the footprints in the snow were prime pieces of evidence. <laughs> um, uh -huh. sorry. No, I was just thinking of something that, uh, unfortunately, something similar, not, not a murder, dear God, but the, a couple years ago, somebody stole a package from my back porch, oh. and, uh, and, uh, the dumbasses, sorry, but, uh, the idiots, uh, it was it snowed really heavily the previous day, thank God, and uh, they left footprints all over the place. Oh my God. And we tracked them down. It was one of my neighbors, a couple houses down, because <laughs> we, literally, we literally saw where they jumped the fence into the alley, jumped the fence into their home, leading directly into our house. <laughs> yeah, sorry. So anytime I think of snow print, like footprints in snow, that's that's all I think about. <laughs> Yeah, you know what, well, you know, criminals aren't smart. <clears throat> the snow fell during the day, on the day of the incident. So snow only fell before the crime took place. Which means the footprints wouldn't have been erased of, by any further snow. And I must make sure to pay close attention to these footprints. Oh, investigation. Alright, uh, let's look at the footprint on the left. Okay. These footprints stop near the body. They must be Mr. Cameron's footprints. He sure has some big feet. They look like a size 11. You know what to say about big feet. They got big socks. And shoes. <laughs> you know, I, I think we're kind of going for the French Prince of Bel-Air type of joke there. Oh, God. It was just that look Uncle Phil gave him. Like, you know what to say about big feet. Uh, uh, no way! <laughs> he just gives that look. Uh, um, he got some pretty big, big damn shoes. 
<laughs> Good. According to the data, his shoes match these footprints. Okay, okay. uh, what about the other, the other ones? The footprints here seem to lead to and from the body. These footprints were believed to be the culprits. The shoe size is about a size 7. That's a fairly av that's fairly average. It seems we won't be able to tell who the culprit is from these footprints. At my angle, like where Edgeworth was kneeling down and when Kay pulled out the, the little thief, uh, it looked like she was holding a gun to his head. Oh god, jeez. <laughs> what the hell? Ugh. Okay. Um, okay, I guess let's examine the body. Am I on there? There you go. <clears throat> so this is the eyewitness of the president's kidnapping, Jack Cameron. What exactly did he witness? I've recreated the state of his body based on the photos taken by the police. It appears he was struck in the head from behind. They mur the murder weapon was a brick, right? It looks like the ones from this garden. The blood that flowed from his head has splattered all over the surroundings. Here, take this! It's Mr. Cameron's autopsy report. Okay. Uh, 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 milk and granny. Um, mm. I'm gonna take a look at the report really quick. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's a tape recorder. Time of death, 12 years ago. 1 a.m. Cause of death, died instantly after being hit on the head with a brick. He was likely killed after leaving a message on his, from his cell phone. Can we, I wonder if we can find the cell phone. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, crap. Uh, it's already 22 minutes. Um... You know what? Let's end the episode, and then the next one we'll finish investigating. Because I feel right. like this may be a may, may be a while. Um, All right. So yes, but thank you guys so very much for watching. And if no one's told you that they love you today, we do. Have a great day, everybody. Bye bye.